So now I have with me Josh Gardner, who works for Win Nelson. And Josh and I actually did a walkthrough here several months ago to evaluate the existing system. So Josh, why don't you come on in for a sec, take a look. Now, Josh, you got a couple of questions here while we're here. Yes. Um, obviously, you can see, uh, I've just showed around some of the people, the heating and uh, the hot water systems that are here right now. And in our discussions, the customer wanted to save cost because of right now, as we saw before, the existing hot water system and the existing uh, furnace, which is a steam boiler, are just ineffective and costing a lot of money in these, this economy. So just go through, if you don't mind, just um, the benefits of what we're trying to supply these customers today. Well, the system we have right here is a steam, hot, steam uh, four steam system that is chimney drafted. Um, it's running probably in the mid 70s for efficiency right now. Right. And the domestic hot water is coming off the lower section of the steam boiler. So the hot water that produces the steam, um, that hot water is going into the indirect water heater giving the domestic hot water. Um, now I have a question. That's, yeah. that's pretty common in most residential applications and actually most setups where the steam, as well, the boiler will run both. Yeah, whether it's a hydronic system or a steam system, right. um, they're very common to have an indirect hot water heater coming off that system. In some applications, it works and it makes sense. Right. In other applications, it doesn't. And in this, sense, in this application, it really does not make sense, and it's a big money waster, especially in the shoulder seasons in the summer. So what we're planning to do here is remove the whole domestic hot water um, system off the steam heating system right. and separate it to a um, high efficiency condensing 98% uh, efficient system. Right. So come in the you know shoulder, the fall, spring, and summer seasons. Right. We can turn the steam boiler off, right. kill that fuel source, and we have another system that's completely separate that's running the domestic hot water at a 98% efficiency. Okay. So a couple things we decided too is we've, so that's domestic hot water is this water tank right here. Now some systems, um, the boiler will actually heat the home and also heat the water in one unit. But because of the size of this facility, it doesn't make sense. I might. So Josh, can you just tell us about the new steam boiler that's right in front of us right here? Yeah. This one here is a uh, Burnham Mega Steam. Um, it is a five section boiler, steam boiler. Right. Um, it's for oil only, doesn't come in gas. Um, and it's going to be replacing our inefficient steam boiler here. Um, our old one is running at probably the mid 70s for efficiency. Right. Um, this one runs at about 86% efficient. Now, for steam boilers, yeah. that's the highest you can possibly get. Um, what normal if you steam boilers come across it. 82 to 83. Now, if this was a, uh, most people, well, though, there are a lot of homes that have steam steam radiators right now yep. at their homes. So this might be, although this is a larger unit for this large building, mm -hmm. but in their homes also, if somebody had just a forced hot water system, what, what's the uh, energy efficiency for one of those, just well, in comparison with to the, steam? With a forced hot water system, I mean, if you were staying with a cast iron type boiler, right. uh, you could get something around 87, 88% efficient. Okay. If you were to make the next step up and go with one of the uh, modulating, condensing, one of the wall hung boilers, right. you could get it up to about 95 to 97%. Okay. So one question that people really do ask is what does that mean? What am I, what is the percentage that we are getting? Is it the percentage of the oil or fuel that's used that's being actually uh, actualized into heat? How does that work? Well, basically the efficiency set on what you're actually using. Right. So, you know... One gallon of oil, let's say. One gallon of oil, I mean, uh, probably about 15% of that is going to go up the chimney. Right. Um, for a high efficiency. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, the 80, when we say 87%, right. that means 80% of, 87 percent of that gallon right. we're actually using in this boiler. Okay. The remainder is just going up this chimney okay. outside. So now in this current boiler, obviously with mid-70s, so and people, basically there's, um, when you get your chimney, excuse me, when you get your boilers um, cleaned, 
each year. Uh, the boiler service will have a card, they'll fill it out, and they'll actually do a test on the efficiency of the unit. Yeah, what it is is there's a combustion analysis machine that they put into the, the flue. Right. And what happens is they run the boiler normally after, they, after they've done the cleaning, yeah. after they brush the boiler out. And that combustion analyzer will tell them many different things what's going on with the heating system, so right. they can troubleshoot it and whatnot. But it's also going to tell them the efficiency. Right. And it's going to tell them the stack temperature of what they're losing. It'll tell them the stack temperature of what they're losing and, uh, and uh, be able to help the, the contractor adjust the efficiency to bring it up or down. So if a customer in their house has a boiler that's working in the mid-70s, they, they know that 30% potentially of the fuel usage is being actually burned up into the, going up the chimney, right? And yes. not being used into their heating of their home. Exactly. It's just going through the boiler into the chimney. Right. Up and outside, and they're losing that. And so that's an easy way for somebody to calculate whether it's worth changing their boiler or not, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. You can look at your bills and kind of compute, you know, what you're actually spending, how much is, what your efficiency your heating system is. Right. And then you can actually look at a physical number of what you're actually losing up that chimney. Right. And then you can look at that number, you know, and get quotes for various contractors on how much it costs to replace the heating system with right. something more high efficiency and, you know, whether or not that would make sense for you. Now, in this application, we've, we're going to go with a unit, a new unit that's 10 to 15 percent more efficient. So right away, there's a potential savings because we're utilizing more of the fuel in heating the home or heating this home. And then we've separated the, the uh, hot water system, which runs off the oil, onto a new propane or gas um, heating system. Correct? That is correct. And that unit we'll take a look at. It runs at approximately 90. What was that? Josh? That's 98 percent efficient. Right. So you can't get. And geez, I mean, as high as it goes. As high as it goes. Yep. So why don't we maybe take a look over there, see the guys from Gacko Plumbing installing that system. Let's go.